Now, if you've been in a leadership position for a while, now, even maybe if you've been just in the workplace for a while, you've probably heard some version of avoid jargon or eliminate jargon. Now, as a leader, I started asking myself, should I be discouraging all jargon? Now, just to make sure that we're on the same page, what I'm talking about here when I use the word jargon is uh, words or expressions that are typically used by a certain profession or organizational environment that may be difficult to understand for those outside of that environment. So that's what I'm thinking of when I'm using that term. So to me, whether to discourage jargon or not really depends on the situation. To help make that decision, I try to consider a few things. The first thing I try to consider is, are we being clear on why we're using the jargon? Because there are some valid reasons as to why we want to use it. I mean, it can bring a team closer by having this shared language. And depending on the circumstances, it might even make the team feel like they're part of a special club or something. And sometimes that is the actual case where everybody uses this common terminology that very few people know uh, or even understand at all. Another thing is that it might be simply a more efficient way of speaking between team members because that is in fact the right term. <laughs> so among peers, using this jargon actually keeps the conversation flowing about the topic. A second thing that I can consider is not just uh, the why, but are we making sure that the jargon itself is clearly defined? Because there are times, even though the term is, is not known by all present, the context itself is clear enough to allow everyone to follow the conversation. Oh, ish, follow ish the conversation. <laughs> and it may not be necessary for all to understand all the nuances and the details, particularly if it's just casual conversation. Now, yes, there is a risk of alienation. But for me, as long as it's done in a way that's more, you know, hey, I'm really excited to talk about this. And so I'm going to use all my jargon terms because hey, I'm really talking. I'm really excited. It's just coming out. And if it's done that way, as opposed to done with the specific intent of excluding uh, that I don't like. So unless it's that, then I, I don't really have a problem with it because another opportunity here is to help educate about the terms. And one way to do that is that we could have some kind of basic team dictionary of the most often used terms. And that could be really helpful for newer team members as well. Because when you're a newer team member, some of them may be afraid of asking what something means. Uh, they may be concerned that it, it will appear as though they don't really know the field. They may be concerned that this might reveal a weakness, that maybe it was a mistake to hire them. So having that would also help in easing their concerns. And it will also help other team members who just want to learn. Another thing that I consider in whether using jargon is a good thing or not is whether jargon is used to actually mask a true lack of understanding. Because sometimes people aren't as proficient as they claim to be but they're really amazing at tossing around jargon in this attempt to fool others in believing that they actually know more than they really do. So uh, until you build that trust with these individuals who are very, you know, prolific with their jargon, until you've built that trust that they actually do know what they're talking about, <laughs> Um, just keep that in mind that it's a possibility. 
And in that same vein, um, when speaking to clients that may not understand that terminology, make an effort to maybe use longer, clearer, or more widely understood explanations, like almost like defining it as you're talking about it. I'm not saying never, never use the proper term, but just make sure that they really understand what you're talking about. Like try to resist that temptation to wow your clients with how much jargon you know. Um, I know sometimes you want to show that you're the expert and therefore I'm going to use all the jargon. See, I'm an expert. That's not really helpful when a client doesn't necessarily understand what you're, you're saying. I know that just to, to take a, a personal example, when I started working closely with a tax and advisory services expert, I had a lot of complex questions that, and I needed some very specific guidance. And I mean, we were paying them to do the work. So this expert could have easily chosen to just inundate me with jargon, but they wanted to make sure that I understood. And they wanted to make sure that they were answering my questions as clearly as possible using, you know, sometimes maybe a little bit more wording that was again, maybe a little bit more like a definition of the word, but they just really wanted to make sure that I understood, even though like I was the client and we were paying them to do the work, but that did a couple of things. The first thing is it did is I walked away being able to make better decisions because now I understood what this person was talking about a lot more in depth. The second thing that it did is that person gained my trust because they were able to explain the concept so clearly that it showed me that they really were an expert. And they weren't just good at tossing around jargon. So I would say like to help with, with that aspect, encourage team members to ask questions. I know that as a leader, I frequently model that to remind others that we all bring something to the table. And just because one person doesn't know all the terminology of all the aspects of the organization doesn't mean that they're less competent team members. If team members see that it's okay to not know all, they will feel better about asking for clarification. So demonstrate it's not a big deal. I would say other that in very specific cases, it usually is better for an organi organization to have diversity of knowledge and skill sets. So just demonstrate that, embrace that. So all this to say, I don't think it's necessary to ban all jargon internally, but be aware why you're using it, the risks I mentioned, and when dealing with individuals external to your organizations or newer team members, err on the side of uh, avoiding jargon. Mm -hmm.